All right, hello all. This is Jace with Jace Land Tennessee. Today I'm going to show you how to put together a track on a Takahuchi TB125. The problem is, is the uh, track tensioner cylinder busted a seal right here. So when you pump it with grease, it would just squirt out the side of this seal here. This is a dust cover, but there's a seal in there. So I'm gonna show you how to put it back together, uh, which you can watch the video in reverse and you know how to take it apart. So the actual cylinder fits in here. The uh, hydraulic cylinder, grease cylinder. It sits in that track right there. And then uh, the grease fitting side uh, fits in that hole. So let's get that thing installed. Alright. Here it is. Oh, this grease fitting in. We gotta set it back there. When you get it on the track, you can just push it all the way back. It should go into its location. Pretty close. You might have to adjust, adjust it a little bit to get it in there. Juggle it around. Yep, there we go. Next, it goes on is the the idler. This is this guy right here. Uh, it's a little dirty, but I don't think it's gonna matter. It just slides right in there as well. I can't get it all the way in right now because I'm on this block. So I'm gonna have to uh, start the machine, drop the blade, pick up the machine, remove that slide this in to finish the job. time to check all your parts and stuff make sure your cylinder's not leaking pump it up with grease do all the little regular maintenance thing there's one two three four grease fittings on the blade right here might as well do that next we'll put the track on first i gotta remove this stuff uh, i might have on the ground. That's good. Alright, let's put the track. I'd say you just put it on the idler side first. And then pull it over to the sprocket. Good there. Let's see what we got. I believe I can 
turn the machine on. I don't need to do it. Well, I'm going to have to so I can raise that, that spot right there. Let's see what we got here. track on in probably five minutes if you uh I'll show you in here in this little uh spot right here. this large nut you release that then the cylinder will come through the ram will come through push grease out of course then you lock it back down but what you're initially trying to do is make this idler slide all the way back this direction and then the track's so loose you can put it on you don't need a machine you don't need chains you don't need straps you need a little bit of strength that's about it but uh now i'm gonna take the grease gun and pump that up and see if we can make it uh see if it'll hold Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, thirty, one, two, thirty-six. It's starting to move. You can see the slack. The bottom's raising up. There we go. I would assume that cylinder was slack of grease, and that's what's happening. Is it's filling up with grease right now. I believe when you get it pumped up, you want to have about an inch of sag between the, the bottom of the roller. A little dirt in there. The bottom of the roller and the top of that cleat right there. Let's see what we got. That's about an inch. It's an inch, you'd say? I'll give it one more pump. Maybe two. Yeah, I'll check it and then uh, run it and check it. And then if it needs more, we'll, I'll put more in it. See how the seal holds, all that stuff. All right, that's it.